morning. So, I have some questions for you. I'm going to try to keep them easy. This one should be pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. But how many of you have ever had a fight with someone? <laughs>
did you did you resolve the conflict? Are think are you and Matilda friends again? Are you able to be with each other and be friendly towards them? You're working on it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's not funny when that happens. It's, yeah. So, what Jesus says to do when you've taken that third step and it still doesn't work, he says to treat that person like a Gentile and a tax collector. Do you know what that means? Well, back then, Gentiles and tax collectors were the people that nobody liked. They were the outcasts, they were the people that no one wanted to be around. Does that sound like a very Jesus thing to do, to treat someone like an outcast? No, it doesn't. So why do you think Jesus would say that? Let me ask it a different way. Who did Jesus spend a lot of his time ministering to in his time to the, the outcasts. He ministered to the Gentiles, the tax collectors, the people who were on the fringes of society. So what Jesus is telling us is that if that third step doesn't work, you know what? You still love them. You still have compassion for them. And maybe the relationship is just a bit different now. And there's one other thing that Jesus says in the Gospel this morning that I want you to take home with you. He says that wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I am with them. So, how many people are up here right now? How many kids are there? Fourteen? Fourteen? Fifteen? So, I think you've met the two or three quota, so I think that means that Jesus is with us as well. Yeah, it is fuzzy. It's very fuzzy. Not so much in this area. <laughs> so, oh, don't go just yet. There's a little more. I promise I'm almost done. Promise. <laughs> so, I want you to take a little present. I have some present. I have a gift for you. But I want you to share this gift. So I have in this holy hassock <laughs> something I think all of you are going to like. Some fun size m and Is that an exciting thing? Yes. I see. I think you're finally awake with me. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to give you each two bags. You'll have one bag. You'll have one bag for yourself. Not you? Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'll try to have Hershey bars next time. So I want you to have two, and then I want you to go to someone and give them one bag and let them know that Jesus is there with you. Can you all do that? You're allergic to it? Oh, man. There are no nuts in these. This is just a chocolate kind. You can't have it? Well, then you can be extra special and give away both. How does that sound? <laughs> well, I'm sorry I don't have more variety of candy. But I'm going to give you each two bags, and as you go back to your seat, Give one to someone else and let them know that Jesus is there with you. Can you all do that for me? Great. Thank you.
give one of the way to someone that can know that Jesus is there. Do you need some help? Hey. M and M's. Have them at your Super Bowl party. Hey, look, we're on the guest list. Ah, uh, that's the menu.